hello youtube family and welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel welcome my name is jade i would love it if you would subscribe to this channel so you are aware of every time i post new content if you are returning to my channel welcome back and thank you for joining me again today on the mat i'm going to take you through a weighted bar class today so you will need a small set of dumbbells something like in between one to three kilos will be absolutely fine if you don't have any dumbbells you can still take this class anyway doing it without equipment is great so i'm going to have this chair behind me so that i've got something to lean on for a short section of the class whether you've got a kitchen worktop a unit a fence anything like that a prop you can hold on to and then we're good to go Okay, let's begin in second position. So we're going to take our feet slightly wider than hip distance apart, toes turned out, heels coming in. Let's place the hands onto the hips, roll the shoulders down the back to get them nice and relaxed and to keep our posture lovely and lifted. We take a plie here, exhaling as you press away from the ground. Now with our plie, the tailbone comes down towards the floor. Try not to stick the bottom back. Keep the spine lovely and long, pull up through the pelvic floor and keep the crown of the head lifting up towards the sky. Make sure those knees are pressing out in line with the toes. Try not to allow them to drop inwards and coming a little bit lower every time to activate through the thighs, squeezing the glutes together as you come up. Let's go for three, for two. And then on the last one, keep those legs long. We're going to take a rise. We lift the heels and lower. So heels come up and down. Heels lift and lower. So we're pressing into the balls of the feet, drawing the belly really tight, trying to just activate through the thighs, testing out your balance, seeing how wobbly we're feeling today, which is fine. If you wobble, <laughs> please don't worry. And keeping the shoulders lovely and relaxed. Don't create any tension through the top half of the body. Last two here. And then we will leave our heels down, releasing the arms. Take your left arm all the way up. A gorgeous side bend here, reaching down the right leg. Peel that left arm back so you're framing the face. Open out through the side body. And then sweep up through center, taking your left arm down the leg, reaching that right arm up and over. Don't let the arm collapse in front of the face. Slowly bringing both hands up, reach up and out of the hips, turning the toes to face forwards. Open the arms wide as you dive down into a standing wide leg forward fold. So hinge from the hips, allow the tailbone to lift high as you allow the hamstrings to open in the back of the legs. Now while I'm here, I'm going to collect my small dumbbells, bending the knees, keep the chin on the chest as you roll all the way up to standing, taking the heels in again so we arrive back in our second position. As you now take your plie, take in a bicep curl at the same time. So bicep curl, elbows squeezed in towards the rib cage, bringing the dumbbells up towards the shoulders. Try not to swing through the tops of the arms here. The movement is coming from the elbows. Keeping the chest lovely and open, don't collapse forwards. And just because we're adding the upper body, try not to forget about the legs. Knees tracking in line with toes, squeezing the glutes as you stand and taking the tailbone lovely and low towards the floor. Let's go for three more here. For three, working the upper and lower consecutively. Two, can we take a little pulse down for one? So I'm going to go pulsing with the arms and with the legs. It's a tiny little bounce, trying not to swing from the elbows. Keep pressing the knees out for five, four, three, two, and one. Down you come. We come back into the rise that we did. This time the hands come overhead and then lengthen the arms down as the heels lower. So I lift the heels and the arms, reaching up high, and then take the arms wide as we come down. So we're having to work our balance, pulling up through the thighs and opening out through the chest, working into the upper back at the same time. 
And if you wobble, if you have a little wobbly moment, don't worry. Just join back in again whenever you can. Try to draw the belly towards the spine to activate the core and move slow, controlled, taking our time. Last one here, last one. Now what we're going to do is leave our heels down, taking the left arm up only, left arm up only. Try and stabilize here. I'm going to slide the right hand down my right leg, a side bend, and then come all the way up. I'll show you again. So the right hand slides down the right leg. And then I come up, I'm hinging forward slightly so that I can keep the left arm stable above my head. If that feels too intense with the left arm overhead, feel free to bring that left hand down onto your hip. Keeping both legs long if you can, drawing the belly button towards the spine, looking after your lower back, working into our obliques, our, obliques, our side body, sliding down that leg, only going as far as you feel comfortable. Your range of movement, not mine. Last one here. Slowly, carefully, bringing the left hand to the inside of the leg, sweeping the right arm up. We go the other way. We slide down the left leg, control as we come up. So you're reaching down, keeping that right arm long and lifted, keeping the chest open, don't collapse forwards, and squeezing that belly in, active through the core. Both legs are long here, heels are on the ground. Legs are getting a moment of recovery while the upper body and the core does the work here in this section. Last three here, sliding down, using that breath on the intensity on the tough part. Last two. And we've got one more time here. And then what we're going to do is bring both arms down. Bring the heels together now. So our heels are coming into first position now. I invite you to bend your elbows. Bring the palms of the hands to face towards one another. Let's do the legs first. Get yourself set up. We're going to plie with the legs. Both heels are on the floor. Pressing the knees out in line with the toes. The bottom comes down. Don't stick it backwards. And keep the chest lifted. So my elbows are squeezing in towards the rib cage. They're going to stay there. Whatever happens, the elbows stay where they are. I start to extend, pressing the elbows into the rib cage as I straighten my arms back for a kickback to work the triceps, the tops of the arms. Still continuing with that plie in first position. So the body will hinge forward slightly, but try not to collapse. Eye line should be coming forwards the whole time. Pressing back. Beautiful. Let's go for four. Keep those heels down. Three. Keep kicking the arms back. Two, last one here. Now the dumbbells are going to come and rest gently on the shoulders. Just gently, they're touching slightly. Elbows are wide, okay? We're going to come down into our plie here and we're going to take a little pulse. I'm going to go down and down. So you see my heels are on the floor, but we're not fully straightening the legs. We're staying loaded, pressing the knees out wide, pulling the elbows out wide as well, and scoop and hollow the belly. Stay low for eight. Seven, still smiling. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's bring the dumbbells back. We're going to turn side on now. So I invite you to pop one dumbbell down. Now I'm going to face side onto my chair. Now we're going to have, let's pop your left hand on the chair first so that we're all on the same side. Dumbbell in the right hand. Let's step the right leg back. We're going to find a lunge stance here, okay? So left leg is straight, right heel is popped off the floor. Both hips are facing forwards. I'm going to lunge down to the ground, bending both knees as I sweep the right arm forwards and then extend and lift. So I lunge and lift. So both knees are bending. Try not to think about going forwards, think about going down, okay? You don't want this front left knee to go over the toes. Elbow is slightly soft on the right hand, and I'm trying to sweep the dumbbell up so it's coming in line with the shoulder. Draw the belly in, look after the back. We go for four, for three, try and tap the floor with that back knee, two, and one, we're going to step the right foot in so the feet are together now. I'm going to sweep the right arm up towards the ceiling. Now open out, I'm going to lift the right leg, bring in right hand and right leg together, and then reset as we lift tall. So we sweep and lift, sweep and lift. So the right leg's coming out straight to the side now. 
I'm bringing the right arm down in the direction of the leg. Try not to hit it though. Be careful here. Lift up through that left leg. Make sure you're not collapsing into your prop, into your chair. Use the breath for four, for three, for two, for one. Now we're going to lift that right leg out slightly. Sweep it round to the back as we take the right arm forwards. Soften the elbow. Square off the chest and the hips. Pulse the right leg for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Beautiful. Let's change sides. So turning yourself over, facing the other way. Now the left leg's going to step back. We lift the heel off the floor of the left leg. Right foot is facing forwards. As we lunge down, we're going to sweep the left arm forwards now. Okay, here we go. So we're coming into our lunge. Left arm's trying to come in line with the shoulder. You're aiming to get the left knee to touch the floor. The right knee, though, be aware, we don't want that pressing over the toes, okay? Squaring off the entire body, and this prop is here for a bit of support, but we're not gripping on for dear life. <laughs> so using your out breath, knowing you can do this without the weights, if you need to, we go for three, for two, for one, step the feet in together. Okay, the left arm comes up. Now we take the left leg out to the side and lift. Left leg is going out to the side and then lifting up. Okay, so lift really tall as you come to center. Extend that left leg out as you're bringing the left arm down. Try not to collapse into the right side body. Don't worry about your range of movement <laughs> as high as you feel comfortable for four, for three, two, and one. Now we're going to lift that left leg, circle it round to the back as you bring the left arm forwards, square yourself off. We pump the left for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring it in. Great work. Okay, grab both dumbbells again. So I'm going to grab both dumbbells. Taking our feet to second position once again. Heels in, toes turned out. Pull up through the thighs, hands on the inside. I'm going to sweep up to a high V. So I'm going to open up, find a high V, and then control as I bring the arms down. Let's do that again. So sweep up, find a high V, control as you lower. Now pull up through your thighs, squeeze the bottom, pressing the hips forwards, feel the shoulder blades sliding in the upper back here, activate through the core, look after your lower back, try not to lock out the elbows or lift the shoulders too high. Okay, let's go for two more. Last two. One more time, last one. Now we're going to bring both down. Transfer your weight onto your right leg. Weight onto the right leg. The left hand's going to stay down. The right arm's going to sweep up. Okay? Take your dumbbell on the left side. Place it behind the leg. We're going to bring opposite elbow to opposite knee and reach out. So across and reach. Across and reach. So the right elbow is coming towards the left knee. Soften the underneath leg. Make sure you're not locking out through the elbow. Finding your balance as you crunch in through center for five, for four, still smiling, for three, tighten everything, two, last one here. Let's go straight to the other side, team. So transfer the weight to the left. The right hand comes behind the right, the left arm, sorry, sweeps up. Let's go. We twist and reset. Crunch and reset. Get those obliques involved. Find that strength on the supporting leg here. Don't worry if you're wobbling. Tap that foot down as much as you need to. Go at your speed in your time for five, four, three, two. Last one here. One. Beautiful. Bring those arms down. Roll the shoulders down your back. Have the dumbbells by your side. Coming into first position for our last time today. Finding a rise, a releve. Bringing the heels together. 
Let's come into our plie. Keep those heels together. We go plie and lift. Plie and lift. So keep the arms down by your sides. Squeeze the bottom at the top. Try and keep the heels lifted if you can. If it's too wobbly, feel free to put the heels down. The knees are going out. Squeeze. Out and squeeze. We've got three, two, last one. Plie and hold. Keep those heels lifted. We pulse. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Pop those heels down. Take your time to put your dumbbells onto the floor, bringing yourself back to center into that wide leg stance again. Toes turned forwards. Take a gorgeous breath in. Reach out of those hips. Open the arms. Dive yourself down. Wide leg forward fold. Hinge from the hips. Soften the knees. Let the body fold over here. Take a gorgeous breath. Leaving your right hand on the floor, sweep your left arm up. Take a nice twist if you can. Open out through the chest. Slowly bring the left hand down, change sides. Right arm comes all the way up. Twisting through the torso. Slowly bring your hands down. Bending into those knees, keep the chin on your chest. Roll yourself all the way up. Slowly bring those feet together, hip distance apart. Take a big breath in, taking hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Up and over into a side bend here. Create space through the side body. Reach up and out of those hips. Gently take hold of the right wrist, left hand. Up and over, gorgeous side bend. Slowing the breath down, bringing the heart rate down. Giving your body a moment to recover, to reset. And then come all the way back to centre exhale release i hope you enjoyed that short session today if you want to check out my monthly membership platform www.pilatesandyogawithjade.com and i take live classes on there and there are lots more exclusive videos similar to this that you will find on my monthly membership if not hopefully i'll see you on here sometime again really soon